welcome in, everybody. <laughs> Is it because I'm scamming Sunny? You don't know if it's me or Gazer? Yeah, welcome on in everybody. Uh, anybody new here, my name is Faye. You're in for subpar gameplay content. Uh, last we left off, we're on the moon <laughs> and doing moon stuff. I'm pretty sure I healed up, so we're gonna go in this dungeon and figure out what the heck's going on here. Oh, I see there's a little bit of explory kind of stuff in here. Maybe there's some secrets. Ooh, this takes me somewhere. Oh, no, it doesn't. Never mind. I wish I had known this earlier. I wouldn't have used my cottage outside. <laughs> I'm guessing this one heals your health. Yep. I also have a candle lit in this room today because I felt like having a, a candle. Uh, let me edit the front of it, uh, it's, it's Let That Crap Go. Let That Crap Go by a Malicious Women Candle Company. <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend their candles. <laughs> At last you've arrived. Who are you? I'm Fusoya. Fusoya? Okay. I'm Fusoya, and I am charged with watching over the slumber of the Lunarians. Fusoya. Lunarian? <laughs> In case you didn't know, Lunarians? Yes, we, the people of the moon. Long ago, the world that lay between the Red Planet and the Great Behemoth stood at the verge of destruction, both terrible and complete. Uh, the last survivors of the de devastation boarded a ship and escaped to the Blue Planet. Blue Planet? The one that you call home. But your planet was still in the midst of its evolution, you see. And so those travelers created a second moon for the planet, and they are settled into a long and quiet slumber. One day we will live on the moon. Could be. Never know. Bubba is just rolling around on the floor back there. Look at him. Look at my child. He's, he's just rolling around on the floor. Duke Duke. <laughs> he remains unmoved. Uh, let's see, and so those travelers created a second moon for the planet, and they were settled into a long and quiet slumber. And they're the ones you call the Lunarians. Indeed, but there was one among us who was loath to sleep. He thought it fit that we should simply raise all existing life on the blue planet and claim it as our own. Well, that's horrible. I hit the, my hand, sorry. And so something. But as he slept, his will grew stronger and took on consciousness all on its own. Hi, Mythical. How you doing? <laughs> it reached out to men with tainted hearts on your planet, twisting them into beings yet darker still. And through them, he began to gather the crystals. So he was manipulating Golbez. Does this guy have a name? His name is Zemus. The crystals function as a source of energy, you see. Oh, Mark Rober uploaded something. <laughs> I fear he has gathered them in order to activate the interdimensional elevator within the Tower of Babel. Yeah, well, on the draw, how's it going? I mean, man, Fusoya, heck yeah. I like his, like, blue-purple blue, blue -purple outfit. It reminds me of those rocket pops we used to eat back in the day. Uh, with it, he will be able to transport the Giant of Babel to your planet and use it to extinguish all life there. Oh no. Oh no! So real quick, anybody, if I ever text you the words, oh no, just picture me saying it going, oh no! Because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> but do not be mistaken, his will is not that of all we Lunarians. The rest of us have been waiting quietly for your planet's people to progress to such a point that we might treat with one another as equals. Looks like Drago vanquished those bots. Nice, he did it. <laughs> we, we but wait and sleep, dreaming of that day. And the lunar whale, where did it come from? Ah, the ship. My younger brother, Cluya, Cluya, yeah, Cluya built that vessel long ago and flew it to the blue planet. Excuse me. He took with him several of our secrets, such as the ones employed 
in your Devil's Road and in airships a gift to your people. Cluya was fascinated by your planet and wished to know more of it. And while he was there, he fell in love with a woman of your planet. She later bore him two children. One of them was you. Oh, it's Cecil. Who's Cecil's brother? Is it Cain? That'd be funny. Me? Then that voice I heard on Mount Ordeals. It was the spirit of your father. Indeed, you are very you are the very image of Cluya in his youth. So it was my father? He vested you with his power so that you might prevent Zemus's plot from coming to fruition. Zemus must be stopped, for your planet's sake and for that of my people as well. We must hurry to the Tower of Babel near Eblon. The tower, it's protected by some kind of barrier now. There's no way in. I should be able to bypass the barrier. We must not let the Giant of Babel be unleashed upon your world. Preferably not. Ooh, Soya joined the party. What's behind door number one? Ooh. We are the Lunar Crystals. The Lunarians deep rest, uh, rest deep beneath your feet, bong, bound in a dream-filled sleep. Fusoya is their guardian, charged with preserving the tranquility of their slumber. We eight crystals form the seal that binds Zemus in his sleep. Spooky. Zemus has erected a barrier from within his prison, sealing off the moon's core. This moon is sustained by the delicate balance that exists between us and the eight crystals of the blue planet. The planet at our center is a transporter that leads to the moon's core, where Zemus is imprisoned. Zemus used Golbez as his pawn to gather to gather the blue planet's crystals. He then amplified their power by means of the Tower of Babel. Zemus is possessed of a fearsome will, even sealed within the bowels of the moon. His evil pulses with a life of its own. Spoopy. So what's this one do? An unseen force seals the way to the lunar core. So I guess we'll get to come back there later. <gasps> oh, excuse me. So now we gotta go all the way back. Crazy, hi! How you doing? I just got a dude, but I don't know what he is. Like, is he a... Okay, he's a mage. He looks like he's coming out of an icicle. When are we doing the original F Final Fantasy X 2? Never. <laughs> and he's playing it, though. Party, we are going to swap rows. There we go. Let's see how this old dude handles. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> I mean, at least we can take these guys out decently quick, I guess. Hit him again! Yas. <laughs> yes, queen!
Oh, he's got a lot of magic. Arise! Oh dang, I wanted a Suna. There we go. He good now. He just got smacked around a little by a space amoeba. That's it. We'd like to attack sometime, please. Hi, Catalyst. How you doing today? Oh, there goes my kitty. He walking away. <gasps> Here we go, heal them up. The magic. I feel ya. Relaxing is always the best. I'm currently relaxing with a candle entitled Let That Crap Go. <laughs> I'm doing alright. Just been super tired recently, but then I realized that there was a partial eclipse, and I was like, oh, that's why. <laughs> Like, I just want to climb back into bed and go take a nap. <laughs> I'm sleepy. But I slept a lot last night. Yo, Mr. Hughes, how you doing? And get these treats for these little ungrateful people. Right. Oh, there's a muffin. Come here, honey buns. Come here. Do you want me to, to flashbang you? There you go, they're all over your chair now. <laughs> She didn't want to move from her chair, so I threw them all over there. Sunny! <laughs> Thank you for- hang on. Let me go back up here. Did it not go off? Sunny, thank you for gifting a sub to the crazy. There we go. He's like, let me replay it for you guys. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sunny, thank you for gifting that to crazy girl. And then we got one bitty from Lil Tone. How you doing? bit sleepy I feel that I am I'm I'm freaking sleepy <laughs> you timed him out for six 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 seconds oh no what is that 11 minutes and six seconds it's an inside joke we always boop little tone <laughs> oh well there we go <laughs> starting to attack things again Oh, Why is Vasoya getting taken out so easily? He's got so much health. Plutone is vibing in the underworld, yeah. Oh no. One of the treats got stuck in the crack of Honey's chair and she's sitting there like scratching at it trying to get it out. Heal everybody up real quick. What does Bless do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> there they go.
People keep dying or running off. I don't even know anymore, honestly. I guess we go back to the Tower of Babel. What's going on? It's the Tower of Babel. We're too late. What? They are quite different to last time. Yeah, for real. Like, people keep swapping in and out. The giant has come. Oh no. Is it Titan? Rectangle, thank you for the lurk. I feel like... There it is. I was like, I feel like cat fur touching my face. It was stuck to my glasses, thankfully. I didn't have to go searching for it. Oh no. I don't remember this thing. I don't like him. He's got abs for days. Oh, that's okay, Rectangle. Drago needs the help. Hmm. No. This can't be happening. Stay away from the summoner. Hi, Tengrim. How you doing? Been a little bit since I've seen ya. Isn't there anything we can do? What's that? Oh, hey, it's the Red Wings. Dwarves, we fight for the Earth, our home, and the mother of us all. Lolly ho! Oh, hey, Yang is there. Yang, you should not be out here. You push yourself too hard. I'm fine, and even were I not, this is no time to be lounging in bed. Yee, on the draw is here too. Nothing to worry about now, Sid's here to help. All engines full power. Sir! Oh, hey, they're back. Hee <laughs> hee, did you miss me? Our elder lifted the spell on us. This is not your burden to bear alone. This is a battle for all who live and breathe upon this planet. <laughs> Twins, yeah! I appreciate you, Tengrim. I, I, yeah, I understand how people are very busy. <laughs> I mean, heck, all I do is clean my house and play video games for stream, but I'm still busy. <laughs> I'm already just busy. Hopefully will forget it. Your week get better though. <laughs> the tweens. Let's see. See, so let me show you the courage you helped me find. They all came to fight. The giant, it's staggered. Then this is our chance. We can get inside that accursed thing. Is this Alexander? Hold up. Right, then we can slice up whatever controls it from the inside. We're gonna need your help, Sid. Take us to the giant's mouth. And who's this old white hair think he is ordering me ab about? His name is Fasoya, he's from the moon. The moon? So I've only seen Rydia on cardboard. I love the green hair in this game. And Edge, too. Very chibi-ass. Yee. I like Rydia. We've no time. Can you get us near enough to jump? Can fish swim? Who do you think you're talking to? I don't know. Can fish swim? Well then, best hold on tight. <laughs> and Sid, yes. my candle out. Trying to get the lid on before it gets all of the smoke everywhere. <laughs> Here we go. It's working on it. Yeah, this is totally the Alexander raid. <laughs> Hmm. 
I didn't even read what it said. Hold up. Giant snack, yeah. Ah, hold up, there's something in my eye. Because with the Alexander raid, it was like, you know, hand of the father, neck of the father, all this kind of stuff. Oh wow, that was the easiest map ever. Oh, I don't like those Samus looking things. I feel like lightning would be effective on them. And don't ask me how, I just really think that lightning would be effective on these. Haha. Ow. <laughs> Miss it, why don't you? Ouchies. CRK 49s, they might be. Uh, Clockwork Soldier and Beam Cannons. Oh, he's got black magic? Hold up. He's got meteor. Oh no! I feel like I'm gonna have to do a lot of level grinding in here. <laughs> hey, we got one of them down, finally. It's like, are we gonna raise Cecil? Is that gonna happen? Oh no, not Mars Attack. That movie actually freaks me out. I've seen only a few seconds of it, but the aliens just- ugh, I don't like them. <laughs> They're spooky. Too spooky for me. Mars Attack is a comedy. You may think so, but it's freaky. I don't like it. <laughs> oh boy. Cringe looking, yeah. Whole ear itches. Is he dead again, or did did he not get revived yet? I think cringy about Mars attacks is Tom Jones is acting. Oh no. I'm 
was like, please, we're just trying to heal the man. Well, jeez, this tower is ridiculous. <laughs> Everybody's just dying left and right. It's gonna take quite a while of grinding to be able to, you know, be here successfully. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, let's heal up again. I was like, don't I have anything that can do, like, you know, lightning damage? And I can. I've never seen it. I don't know what she listens to. <laughs> I assume you're probably correct, though. We got one of them. Now he's gonna break dance for us. Oh no. <laughs> Do you know what she was listening to? Like death metal or something? I mean, we are beating them, it's just taking a long time to do so. You talking about me again? I don't know. All I know is this place is really hard. Oh no, not these things. Beat the crap out of it quick. Google slit says Slim Whitman. I don't know who that is. Oh, an old dude. <laughs> See yodely like music. Oh, okay. Some people do listen to that stuff. Ironically, yodel type music, most Americans think like Swiss people listen to that. <laughs> That's hilarious. When your musical tastes are so bad that uh, otherworldly beings just explode. <laughs> That's great. We've got the weakness, now we just gotta make it work. <laughs> Why are these people gotta be missing their attacks, huh? <laughs> super silly. See, you say super silly, I think it's terrifying. <laughs> 
I guess because I watched War of the Worlds as a child and that was so terrifying that I didn't like alien movies after that. little alien dude over here just break dancing like tr tr and then hits you hey we took him out oh we got lightning arrows do i have those already that would be super useful in here let me heal everybody first wrong person So it was a silly movie, but they got, like, big-name actors for it. Could very well have. Danny Elfman does some really good music. He did the music for the original Star Wars trilogies, if I remember right. Itchy. Okay. Up. Oh, I didn't want to step back on it. Soy is dead. Hmm. I'll have to ja ask Jake about it. I know he's seen the movie. I just yeah. spooky, <laughs> spooky dooky. doing a day. We're in a very tough dungeon and I'm not having fun. <laughs> Whew, there we go. I was doing okay. Emphasis on the word was. Oh no. Well, free feel free to chat if you want. Hopefully the soothing sound of my voice will help you. <laughs> Dang it, I hate these things. Summon Rama. More memes about autism from people at work. <laughs> like, if the memes are funny, cool, but if they're doing it not out of a place of love, that's not cool. Hmm. Do you have, like, an HR department or something you can talk to? like if they're doing the memes like directly at you that's a little messed up told the boss and he's done nothing uh 
I don't know if they have something similar to the Better Business Bureau in the UK, but that's a place where, like, if a company isn't treating employees well and nothing is being done about it, you go to the Better Business Bureau and tell on them. And then they'll do, like, a full-scale investigation and whatnot. It's like, hey boss man, you're supposed to take care of this. I am? <laughs> Time to start making fun of the boss, I guess. Yeah. Be like, you know, sorry not sorry, this is workplace harassment and that does not fly in this day and age of 2022. So you can either A, make it stop, or B, I'm leaving and going to the news about this. like, my initial reaction is to be super passive-aggressive, but that's me, that's not everybody. Because, <laughs> like, there was somebody at work that was trying to get me fired a while ago, and I was super, super passive-aggressive about the whole thing, and it ended up getting me fired. <laughs> so I don't recommend that form of action. I mean, while it was hilarious, the things that I did, uh, it still got me fired from a job I really liked. Yeah, it's like going up to somebody with no hands and being like, Hey man, can you give me a hand? <laughs> and it's like, it's not funny. One passive-aggressive move that I think might work, or at least make you feel better about the situation and give you yourself some good laughs, is every time you see one of these autism memes or jokes, just straight face go, I don't get it, can you explain it to me? And then just like deadpan stare at them and be like, I don't get it, can you explain it? And then as they're trying to explain it, be like, I, I still don't get this, is it supposed to be a joke? Like, what, what is this? Like, when people come in here making, like, sexist jokes or something like that, you know, I'll be like, I don't get it. What's, what's funny about this joke? <laughs> Was there something supposed to be funny? I, I don't get it. And they're just like, cause, cause you're a woman, and I'm like, well, what's so funny about being a woman, huh? <laughs> That and like running away from a situation like this isn't gonna make it any easier for yourself. I've had some people come in here asking me to do like sexual favors for them and I'm like, bruh, who do you think that I am? <laughs> like that kind of stuff is icky, get out of here. Mm-hmm. Or, like, ask them very psychological questions, like, uh, what's happened in your life that makes you think that doing this is okay? <laughs> How is your home life that you think that it's alright to make fun of autistic people? I mean, that's totally understandable how you feel, Cherry. I wouldn't want to go back to work either. We got the stomach. I mean, if you want, whenever you get one of these nasty autism memes, you can send it to us and we can make our own memes in response for you to send back. <laughs> Or 
Are these the types of people where their hobbies include going to a bar after work and getting hammered? Hmm. If you don't have an HR, what would somebody do? Yeah, and then, um, if the new place asks why the old place isn't working out, you can just be like, there was a conflict of interest and I no longer feel safe working there. We also have a place in the U.S. called, um, I think it's like Glassdoor or something like that, glassdoor.com, and you can, like, rate your employer. So that way, if people are getting a job, they go on to get Glassdoor and look at it and be like, oh, this place is crap, I can't do that. I mean, it might take a while, but there's always jobs out there. I mean, you totally could. I don't know, like... I don't know British law or anything like that, but you could totally be like, hey, this is either going to stop now or we're going to take this to court. Because this is harassment, it's bothering my mental stability and all this kind of stuff. Oof, he's dead. That sucks. Everybody needs glass door. The second I'm trying not to die, I will catch up with chat momentarily. <laughs> oh god. There's so many enemies. Kill it. At least we got one of them down. Soya's just gonna have to stay dead for a minute. I don't have enough manpower to be able to keep him alive. I forgot I can pause this. Okay, let me catch up. Very good. <laughs> Physically watching somebody vomit bothers me, but the word vomit does not. <laughs> but yeah, like, totally. If they're making those things, just continuously reply with, you know, hey, these are not funny. And, you know, if you need to put not in capitals, like, hey, this is not okay. You know, it's not funny. I don't know what you're trying to do. If this is, like, your weird attempt at trying to bond with me or if you're legit making fun of me, but it's not cool and this needs to stop now. Like, if you need- it, he's- he's legit flat. He deflated. What is going on? That's- that's creepy. But yeah, just be really blunt. If you need help, like, wording anything, I'm sure some of us can help you word things. <laughs> Me speaking directly to somebody, I'm not very good at wording, but when I, like, actually write something and can proofread it and whatnot, I can word very well. <laughs>
Ow. My throat made a weird noise. Oh, thank god, there's a save spot. <gasps> Ooh, the bun bun! The grammar is really bad. Oh no. Yeah, see, here in the South, we have this initiative program called No Kid Left Behind, where if your kid is legitimately trying, then they pass you with a D. <laughs> so, like, I just, you know, slumped my way through school because I just didn't care about it. And now here I am. <laughs> Oh, they have it in Philly. I always want to call Pennsylvania Philly, but you know what I mean. They have that in Pennsylvania as well. Yeah, like we know we know English, we know how to communicate with each other. We do not know proper English. Okay, so lightning is its weakness. Mm-hmm. That and, like, English was one of my worst classes, so <laughs> whatever that tells you about me. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> like, Philly and Pittsburgh, those are the two cities everybody knows, so you're either outside of one of them. <laughs> I can be like, oh yeah, I used to live in the Poconos. Nobody knows where the Poconos are. It's like, oh yeah, you know, I used to live an hour outside of Philly. Ah, okay. Oh, thank God, he's doing the Lord's work. So that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's get 60 of them. 34, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We got 40 of those. We got some cottages. <laughs> Philly is on the east side and Pittsburgh is on the west side and that's about it. Only people from Pennsylvania know where the Poconos are, yeah. <laughs> But the real question is, have you ever been to that restaurant my brother's place out near the Poconos? Because it is fantastic. <laughs> it's really expensive, but I mean, when I was dating my abuser, his parents were loaded, so I mean... That was the one good thing about it. Philadelphia tastes good. Don't eat me, I have a family. Oh no. Oh yeah, Philadelphia cream cheese. That stuff's delicious. I mean, I can't eat it anymore, but it's good in the day. Oh, great. I don't remember what this thing was allergic to. Fire, maybe? It's fire, okay. Ha 
Haha. <laughs> Can I use Asuna on the whole party? No. Yeah, I'm allergic to a ridiculous amount of things, actually. <laughs> if you do exclamation point allergies, it should pop up with everything that I'm allergic to. It's not fun. A lot of things are allergic to fire, yeah. I never say, like, weak to something. I always say allergic to something, and I don't know why, but it's really funny. It's funny to myself, at least, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Oh, I do have eye drops. Great. If you could not be allergic to just one thing on your list, what would you pick? Corn. Corn is in 90% of things in America. <laughs> Corn is the worst. For caffeine addiction. I mean, caffeine addiction is definitely better than an eating addiction. Can I haste everybody? He's water, so let's do lightning. <laughs> Cagnazzo, yeah, nobody likes Cagnazzo. <laughs> so he's not weak to lightning, but he does still take damage from it. Yeah, like, I live in the barbecue capital, like, you know, not being able to eat pork sucks. But at the same time, I would much rather be able to eat corn because corn is in barbecue sauce. Blizzard, maybe? Let's try Blizzard. It's Blizzard. Great. Oh, you're good. I'm used to being this way by now. It's been years since I've been diagnosed with stuff. Milk I never really liked. Like, ice cream I like and stuff like that, but milk I never really missed. It's a gross texture. <laughs> You can use oat milk, though. Oat milk is really good. <laughs> I drink tea all the time. I just use oat milk, though. Like, soy milk, garbage. But oat milk is actually pretty dang good. <laughs> oat milk is just like, ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so we got a new thing here. Let's see what she's 
what she's all about. Yeah, it is expensive. I mean, you can make your own, though. You just get a big thing of, um, like, regular oats. Crap, I forgot how to do this fight. You get a thing of regular oats and you soak them in, like, water or whatever overnight. And then you blend it all up in the morning and it makes milk. It's like, let me get everybody protected first. There we go. You underestimate my laziness. Oh no. Let's try Leviathan. Everybody's dying! <laughs> I need help! The letters. Yeah, for real. Like, if I'm gonna make something that takes a while, I try to make a huge batch of it so I don't have to do it for, like, the next few weeks or whatever. Ah, oh, dang. Yep. Can you just, like, stop casting things, please? just need somebody. Don't let Tornado Lady hang on. Let's see, Italian way. Yeah, I tried to get more into cooking during the pandemic. It's an uphill battle, though, because my work takes a long time. Yeah, like, I have to cook basically breakfast, lunch, and dinner for myself. And it's been that way for, like, years now, and I'm just so tired of cooking. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Tornado Lady what to do. Rapunzel on a windy day, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I'm tired of this, Grandpa! Oh, that's too dang bad!
It's like I'm just waiting to see who dies next. Just, just kill me. I don't even care anymore. I'm not gonna win this battle. Go ahead. We'll just attack you. Go for it. Kill me. I dare you. Go on. We'll see if this new set has a lot of Final Fantasy IV characters, so it's cool to get some backstory. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna have to level grind a little bit. What level even is everybody? Yeah, we've got two characters not even in the 60 range, which is probably why they're not doing too hot. So I guess I'll just run up and down through this tower until I can, like, one-shot everything. Backstory is that they all came to the Tower of Babel and were killed by windswept Rapunzel, yeah. It's a heckin' tough battle. Yeah, no kidding, I'm gonna have to level up quite a bit to be able to do it. At least we've got, um, what is it, fire, and then lightning, and then we gotta remember what the wind lady is immune, you're not immune to, what she's allergic to. It's just the word that comes to mind. <laughs> Let's see, we are in the giant. The Giant of Babel. Here we go. Going to the bottom, because that's what I need. That is not what I wanted. What level should I be? Everyone should be on or around level 50 at this point. The Giant of Babel is what ultimately comes out of the Tower of Babel. Everybody is over level 50, and we're crap, though. What was the Wind Lady? It's not Garuda. Final Fantasy... 4... Wind... Lady... Boss Rush style, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I type in Wind Lady and it pops up. Okay, blah blah blah, don't care what she weak to. This isn't telling me anything. Maybe IGN? Will IGN tell me what she's weak to? So we need to slow protect and haste the party. Okay, it said just hit her with Aga spells, with anything with an AGA at the end of it. So she's not really weak to anything, so we just need to level up a bit and then pelt her. Valvalis? I thought her name was like Barbara something. 
isn't there a Final Fantasy Wiki? There is, but also it doesn't- it just gives you, like, backstory information on the characters. It doesn't give you, like, what actually is going on. What the heck? I hate this place. <laughs> I'm just gonna go run around in circles next to the save point. Yeah, that's the wind lady. Run away, there you go. There we go. Yeah, the, the wind lady is the Barbara whatever her name is. Barbara Manity is what I've been calling her. Just a very sleepy bean today. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Summon Rama for the heck of it. <laughs> I guess Mist Rans is how they were trying to think of it. Oh, come on. Dang it. This area is ridiculous, but I mean, I'll just do the same thing that I always do, is train in the area until the enemies no longer bother me, and then I can continue. <laughs> so I might have a day or two of just straight grinding. No, not these guys. Heck, if I need to, then I'll grind off stream. And stab him. Oh well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can I kill one of them at least? <laughs> That's all right, Catalyst. Uh, we're basically getting ready to do endgame stuff, but at the same time, this area is just really hard. Now we just gotta get Edge back to life before we kill the dragon. There we go, we got Edge back to life in time. I guess I'll try to get most everybody to level uh, 70. I mean, that's what I did with the other game. A 
you'll get off the bench when you play Final Fantasy X again. <laughs> I already played that one! <laughs> Not a back attack, I hate these things. Just murder him. Old man's not doing too well on spells. <laughs> Woo! We killed him! There wasn't enough Blitzball. For good reasons. <laughs> My good boy is here walking across the cat cam. Is you a good boy? Yeah. You going back up into your window? Welcome back, little tone. Hopefully you're doing all right from Lurkland. <laughs> Thank you for the bitty. Back from bathing in the shadow realm, yeah. Screw it, let's do meteor. I hate all these things. <laughs> Also, we might kill him before he casts Meteor. There's Sunny. Doing his modly duties. Just murdering the crap out of this thing. <laughs> Thank you for the bitty. One question has there been? Yeah, uh, Steve. He's no longer allowed in this channel. <laughs> But of course, those weren't jokes. Those were like Steve coming in and saying something he knew was gonna make people angry. And then when people reacted poorly, he'd be like, Oh, it was just a joke. Oh, why are you overreacting? Oh, woe is me. So after a while, I was like, bro, just shut up and ban him. Another ban happened. Hi, Knight! No, this was a while ago. Oh god, hold up. I gotta pay attention for this one. We gotta murder the crap out of these dragons like ASAP. Blitzball is great! No. <laughs> Most of the time, Blitzball is me just mashing buttons and hoping for the best.
<laughs> Die, dragons. Did someone say ban? No, Sunny, no. <laughs> but see, that's a silly controversial. It's not like coming in and being like, my candidate is better than yours. It's like, bruh, <laughs> nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about your candidate. One sec. I'll read the, the long boy in a minute here. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Like, I get if people might find it, like, weird of, oh, somebody wants to come meet me and I don't know them, but if you're, if you're a Twitch streamer and you're, like, a partner or quote-unquote famous Twitch streamer, like, people are gonna want to come see you because they think that you're cool. That's just my personal take on it. Like, if somebody was like, oh, thank you for the laughs. laughs. But, like, you know... If somebody was like, oh, Faye, I'm gonna be in your state, it would be so cool if I could run into you or we, or we could, like, do something. I'd be like, bet, when? <laughs> yeah, I feel you, little tone. Also, there's just some people where, like... I don't know how to word it, like... Some people, I just don't listen to their opinions because I don't care about their opinions. If that kind of makes sense, like, I can respect somebody and also not care about their opinions. The Luca Goers, yeah, they're the- oh, Jesus Christ, what is this? The Luca Goers are the worst villain. Yeah, like, if there's something going on at the store, I would go and, like, you know, buy some card packs or something. Is that a weakness? Yes. And then I would get, like, you know, the streamer or whatnot to, you know, sign stuff, because I think that'd be pretty dang cool. I forgot that I have a rise. A rise might be helpful in Wind Lady fight. Yeah, that's why I like using emojis when I'm typing stuff, because it helps, like, get my point across, I think. Thank you, Nightbot. Yeah, like, voice inflection and tone and whatnot are a big thing. <laughs> Not little tone, but tone in your voice. <laughs> Woo, we did it! Yeah, like, uh, being autistic and stuff personally for myself is like, sometimes I say things that are innocent, but people take them the wrong way, so I always try to like, especially if I'm typing, I try to add like emoji and stuff so people know like, how I'm trying to come across, if that makes sense. Let there be light, little tone, what color you want. <laughs> Forewarning, red does wash out everything and makes me look like a pasty, you know, doughboy. <laughs> Sucks because... Purple, you got it. There we go. Sucks because I used to work at a call center, so calling people gives me PTSD sometimes. Oh, completely understandable. The whole reason calling on the phone gives me PTSD is because my ex would call me at work and then be extremely abusive. <laughs> but I'm working on it. Fun fact, my parents thought I was autistic as a child, but I'm not. It could be like ADD or ADHD or something, too. So there's like a whole spectrum of neurodivergency. 
selfish with strangers. They don't know if you're a jokey person or a sarcastic person if you meant to say it that way. Yeah. Like, if I if I don't know somebody and I'm trying to be sarcastic, like, I'll go out of my way and be like, Oh, yeah, totally. And talk in a voice like that so people know I'm being sarcastic. I went to, like a strongly Christian school for several years of my life. And like, they did the test, like you had to take a test to get into the school. You had to be like smart enough or whatever to be able to get in. And I mean, I passed the test with flying colors, but they pulled my mom aside and told her something and she never told me what it was. <laughs> but when I was talking to my therapist and the therapist was like, hey, you might be autistic. I told it to my mom and she immediately was like, you don't have to believe that. And I was like, is that what the people who gave me the test told you that I was autistic and you never told me? <laughs> it's like life would have been so much easier! <laughs> I mean, if you get bad vibes, sometimes they're warranted. I like to feel people out first before I like go into depth about my life so that, you know, I don't get hurt or whatever. Don't block anyone because it's just a bad thing to do. I just stop talking to- Oh, I block everybody. That's fine with your voice when you type it. Those inflections can be lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I grew up in the 90s. Like, I'm 30 now. And growing up in the 90s in America, like, there's a huge stigmatism around- or, Yeah. Stigmatism? Yeah, not a stigmatism, but there is a stigmatism around, like, neurodivergency and being autistic and stuff. So, like, you know, growing up in the 90s, if someone was autistic, they were instantly labeled as, like, you know, lesser beings. So when I told my mom that, hey, I could be autistic, she was thinking that, you know, oh, my daughter thinks that she's a lesser being now. That's why she was like, you don't have to believe that! No, 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 don't put yourself in that box! And then after explaining it, she was like, oh, okay, so how can I help to make things better? Let's get some healing going here. These battles are just way too tough. Like, I'm trying to carry on conversations and whatnot, but a battle pops up and I'm like, focus, focus, don't die! Yeah, especially because, like, the... Is the Autism Speaks era the one with the little puzzle piece? Because I've heard that they're garbage people. Okay, I gotcha. Healing on up. It could be that too, you never know. Cause like I never thought I had autism until I went to go see the therapist and she was like, yeah, you're definitely autistic with how you are masking the symptoms and whatnot. And I was like, I'm not masking the symptoms. And then I started running through it and I was like, oh god, I'm masking the symptoms, what the heck? <laughs> mm. The bubble is never good. It's like, so now you kind of don't really know who you are as a person because you've been kept in that bubble for so long. Yeah, a little tone. <laughs> That's what you would say if you were autistic. It's like, oh. <laughs> I was like, did a cat just walk past me? But there's one right behind me. 
she kind of on the cat cam. Yeah, it really does build character though, because like, I feel like everything happens in due time when it's supposed to happen. So, like, you know, it might have sucked. It might suck that I was brought up as a normal child when I was actually neurodivergent, but at the same time, now I know how to act like a normal person if I need to. <laughs> yeah, like. I legit maybe have three friends, and they don't even come over that much anymore, and it makes me really sad. <laughs> Two dragons, hold on, let me pay attention for a bit. Oh, absolutely. Like, especially helicopter parents, that's, like, really bad for your mental health. And by helicopter, I mean they're always buzzing around you being like, Oh, you need to do this. Oh, you need to do that. Oh, stop doing this. Oh, you can't do that. You're gonna hurt yourself. Like, kids aren't gonna learn and grow if they never have the chance to. You do? Hmm. I don't know if you could, like, reach out to a psychologist, not a psychiatrist, a psychologist, and ask them for- oh, there goes Edge- ask them for advice about, um, stuff for the report and whatnot. Yeah, the boxes are definitely a bad thing, because, like, you know, I could be boxed up in the, the box of autism, and then it's like, oh, because you're autistic, you can't do this and you can't do that. It's like, but I can. Oh, no, 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 you can't do that, but I can. <laughs> Imagine it's liberating when you learn the truth about who you are and what you are. Absolutely. I'd personally prefer to understand myself then wonder why I struggle where others don't. You just think you were doing something wrong, which obviously isn't true. Yeah, like, I've thought I've been doing things wrong my entire life until I realized, oh, I'm not wrong, I'm just different. <laughs> what I've dealt with having no close friends is making conversations with anybody. I mean, it works because you never know if that person's going to be your next friend. Like, you know, um, when I go out and about and start talking to people outside, I just start talking about anything. And if they start shying away, it's like, okay, well, I'm too much for them. And that's okay. That's their prerogative. Rivier says, worse as well. My parents didn't care much. And I thought I'll manage to handle my issues myself to the point where they actually lied to my doctor to avoid me getting diagnosed at age 11. Ah, oh, geez, that sucks. You know, you don't know me, but if you ever need to reach out at all for just lending an ear, I got your back. No one should ever feel like that. Mm-hmm. Twitch has helped you a lot. Yeah, because, like, you know, you never know if you're genuinely going to connect with a streamer or not. I mean, some streamers are fake, and that's okay. That's just their streaming persona. But, like, I try to be my true self on stream and in real life. Oops, sorry. The only difference about my, like, Twitch persona and my real life persona is on Twitch, I do not swear. I want this to be a family-friendly, safe space, and I know that swearing can be triggering to some people and all that kind of stuff, so I just don't swear on stream. If you ever meet me IRL, I have a very dark sense of humor, and I swear like every other word. <laughs> so, like, if you ever met me in, in the wild and you'd be like, Are you face? And I'd probably turn around and be like, F yeah! Yeah, yeah! Just start, like, swearing and hyping you up. <laughs> no, I talk a lot about Final Fantasy TCG, but I'm super thankful for it. Mm -hmm. Like, I know nothing about the Final Fantasy TCG, but I think it's cool that you've never played this game, but you know all the characters. <laughs> Love all the inside jokes I have on each channel. Yeah, like the ones where you come in here and you get banned immediately. It's fun. And if it ever bothers you, just let me know and we'll stop doing it. It's easier to talk openly with people you have no preconceptions of you. Yeah, like, you know, if, like, if I'm talking to an old friend or whatever, they have a preconception of how I act and how I should act. 
And I don't like that. There goes Edge. Come on, Edgy boy, come back. Summon Rama. No, <laughs> you're good. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> My party is dying. <laughs> Summon Rama, kill them. At least kill one of the dragons. That works. I feel ya. <laughs> it's like lots of words, lots of reading. <laughs> Give me a second. Yeah, like, you know, forcing your kids to be normal is not good. <laughs> Oops, probably needed to raise those two. Like, I think kids need a healthy dose of parenting and not parenting at the same time. Like, you know, parent me into saying, hey, I know that you do these things, but it's not socially acceptable, but at the same time, letting me go out and discover who I am as a person. It's I think we're all just having a good healing day today in chat, personally. Yeah, like, especially if you didn't grow up with that balance like any of us did, really. Like, it sounds- it's really hard to imagine that, but like... I feel like... Like, my roommate is also kind of neurodivergent, so I kind of like practice parenting skills on him, if that makes sense. So I've learned that a little bit of, hey, you shouldn't do that, and go for it and see what happens. It'll be funny when you fail, you know, personally, just because, you know, kind of annoying. He's kind of annoying. But a little bit of both has actually helped him grow a lot as a human being. Because if he's like, I wonder what would happen if I licked an outlet, I'd be like, you probably shouldn't do that. But if he's like, should I reach out to this girl and see if she likes me? And I'm like, go for it, bro. I mean, if she says no, then we can all laugh about it later. I need to tent next time, because it seems like everybody is running out of uh, everything. Mm -hmm. I had my crisis at around... It kind of started at like when I hit 25 and then it kept ramping up and ramping up and then when 2020 and the lockdowns hit, like, I was gone. <laughs> I was gone. I was done. I had no idea what was going on. Didn't know that I was autistic and having autistic meltdowns. But, you know, I'm slowly getting back out into normal life as people call it. Mm -hmm. Like, I've always, you know, if I start a stream and I'm not feeling well, I tell you guys straight up, hey, I'm not feeling well, I might not be very talkative, and I might end stream early. And by telling you and being open about it, I actually make it through stream nine times out of ten. Yeah, identity crises are not de definitely not fun things. Mm hmm Like, a good strong support system is how we find out about each other, and like, how we find out about ourselves. <laughs> Pokemon card- are Pokemon cards really a waste of money though? Dang, I clicked Switch Rose, that was my B. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Great, look at how good friends. Did somebody send me something? I heard the boop boop. Because I don't get Discord notifications for whatever reason. I hear the noise, and then I never get the notification. Hey, there we go, Tone. Thank you for joining the server. I just gotta get back to people. I appreciate that, too. 
Because, like, every little bit adds up as well. <laughs> Heck, to prove that bits add up and whatnot, just commercials alone. Like, just from you guys watching the pre-roll ads, I've made six bucks this month. And that's, you know, better than zero bucks a month, so... Yeah, it's a server ping, definitely. Nope, oh, time to murder this thing. Yeah, thank you for the bitty tone. I appreciate you. Oh, no problem, little tone. I will always be here to chat. I'm trying to, like, look over and, like, quick read as I'm doing these battles, too. It's an observation pretty interesting. Pretty much everyone in chat here has shared experience of autism or ADD, etc. Did you find that because of the tags or were you looking for a kindred spirit or just a coincidence? I don't know how to feel about the ads, to be honest. <laughs> the ads make me money, that's all you need to worry about. Like, I don't want anybody to ever feel like they need to pay money to watch my stream. That's what the ads are there for. Just by coming in and watching, like, one or two ads, you're making me money. So I appreciate it either way. But fun fact, I didn't actually start my stream as an ADHD autistic streamer. I just started streaming for streaming's sake. I didn't know I was, like, autistic ADHD till about six months ago. Might have been a little over six months now that I think about it, but generally around six months ago. Give Faye money or ban. Oh no. Edge keeps dying. I found P Faye through Pokelink. You did? What's Pokelink? Why am I there? Been here quite a while. Heck yeah. Hold up, let me heal everybody real quick. I gotta pay attention to this stupid robot real quick. Try and support all the homies you eat. Pokelink is the thing you use to show the Pokemon you have when using an emulator. Oh, okay. I gotcha. That's why it sounded familiar. Dang. Well, Edge not getting anything again. Ooh, one year, two months, and two days. Heck yes, yeah. so you followed pretty much close to the beginning. I wonder how important the tags you give Twitch are for finding like-minded people. Well, there was some um, people that came in recently that followed me specifically because of my ADHD and autism tags. Like, I don't have- I don't know if I have ADHD, but my husband has ADHD. Jake does. So, like, I put that tag on there so if people come in, I can learn more about it through them so that I can help him better. Now, Faye hates Pokemon? Yeah, screw those Pokemon. <laughs> Play through Pumpkin Amy before she became big. Yeah, like I used to watch Pumpkin Amy back when she only had 30 viewers. She's working on music industry, loves the local band scene, reminds me so much of small Twitch streamers. It's kind of sick. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Like, I beat Arceus, and then I was like, okay, that's enough Pokemon until the next game comes out. Murder it! It's only one dragon! What happened? Oh, I clicked on something. <laughs>
Yeah, we used to be able to talk to Pumpka, and now she's just got brrrr of chat, and it's like, aww. We can only be here and quietly support in spirit. Yay, we killed it! Wow, nobody leveled up from that? Okay. Is he still camping way, or is he something else now? <laughs> Yee. You know, I tried streaming four years ago, and it didn't work out very well. I guess five years ago now. And it didn't work out very well, and I actually gave up streaming. And then, by chance, I was scrolling through Facebook and saw that, you know, a friend from New Jersey that I had hung out with a couple times was starting to stream, and I was like, oh, that'd be cool, I've been wanting to stream, maybe I can, you know, help him grow his stream, since I couldn't grow my own. And then I've been in there every single day since, pretty much. Screw it, let's use Meteor on these guys, just for funsies. Yeah, exactly, Catalyst. Like, I want to be open about my suffering so that I can help other people who are also similarly suffering to what I've been doing. Guess when I started? A long time ago? <laughs> I don't know. I'm bad with guessing things. I wish I could move around the magic and put at the top what I want, or at least, like, organize it. Like, it really bothers me the magic's not organized. That's a question for Rectangle. Hey, Rectangle, if you're still there, can you organize the magic in this game? Like, I don't want people to stigmatize autism anymore. Like, there's nothing wrong with me. I just handle things differently than everybody else, and that's totally okay. <laughs> do I get scared about sitting in a car? Yes. <laughs> Most people do not get scared about sitting in a car, but that is okay. It's just one of those things where, like, with autistic people, I feel like getting used to things is a big, like, a big part of how we function. So, like... I haven't been in a car for so long that now I have to get used to being in a car so that that way I don't freak out. God dang it, I didn't want to swap rows. I just murder the crap out of him. First stream date was Valentine's Day 2015. It being Valentine's Day was a coincidence all. Oh. I was managing bands. We slept in cars on tour. Yes, you're probably a lot more used to sitting in cars than I am. Arise! Walmart parking lots were like Hilton hotels. <laughs> so fun fact, there's an abandoned grocery store legit like 20 feet that direction out my window. And truckers now just use the uh, parking lot as a sleeping place. Which I'm glad that they do because they actually found somebody that had died in their car and that would have sucked if they were just there for a long time. Yeah, like, it's either me or my husband driving, 
but it doesn't make it any less nerve-wracking, I don't feel. It's just that I haven't been in a car for so long that I'm really scared about being in cars now. There we go. Get everybody all saved up. Yeah, we actually just bought a brand new car. We traded in our old one because we had catastrophic alternator failure and it doesn't even have 50,000 miles on it yet. And then I looked it up and apparently the car that I did have, they've also got catastrophic engine failure at around 60k miles to the point where, like, the engine will just die and then you're out in an entirely new car, basically. So we were like, yeah, it's best to just trade this hunk of junk in now. Stop streaming in early 2017, came back 2018, and then came back in August 2020 and kept going since then. Nice. Sometimes it just takes a little bit to get up off the ground. Are roads generally dangerous in America? It depends on where you live. If you live in, like, Massachusetts, oh my god, are the roads dangerous. If you live somewhere here, the roads are kind of dangerous. Uh, Colorado has the best drivers that I've seen f so far out of all of the states I've been to. Yeah, it's really not the roads, though. It's just the drivers. Uh, speeding, yes. Also distracted driving. Uh, none of them were properly trained or disciplined to drive properly. So, like, people will literally drive, have their hand on the wheel and their phone right here, and they'll just be, like, messing on their phone while they're driving. And it's like, no, do not do that. Like, somebody rear-ended my mom because she was playing phone games, and then we called the police to come do, like, you know, their, their things that they need to do. And the lady just literally got out of her car and berated and belittled us until I had a mental breakdown. And then I was just screaming at her to get away from me. She wouldn't get away from me. And, you know, eventually I was like, just leave, just go, just leave, get away from me. And so when the cop showed up, he was like, wow, so not only did she attack you, but that was technically a hit and run. So do you want me to press charges? And I was like, yes, absolutely. And, um... Uh, my, the cop was like, it will raise your insurance. My mom's like, I don't want it to raise my insurance. I was like, Mom, I will pay for your insurance. I want this lady arrested. <laughs> but we ended up not pressing charges and the cops never found her. But like, screw those kind of people. It's like, I'm just trying to exist. And they're like, oh, what's that? You wanted a mental and emotional trauma today? Hey, we took out one of them. I wasn't trying to click buttons or anything, Rydia, you know? Oh, there we go. Yeah, like, when I do watch car crash videos, for whatever reason, car crash videos are entertaining for me. But, like, when I do watch them, there's very, very few from, like, the UK. It's generally either America or Russia that I see them from, and I was like, wow, all of our drivers suck. No, like, we knew exactly where she was. We had her license plate, we had all of her information, but we didn't press charges, because if you do, then your insurance rates go up on your car because you were still in an accident, whether it was your, your fault or not. Which is some BS, but I mean, you know. It's like, do you want to pay an extra hundred dollars a month on your insurance? No! I can't even afford it as is. Perhaps because the roads are narrow and it probably takes more care and attention. Oh, the roads really aren't even that narrow. Or are you talking about in the UK? Because, like, we, we got her to pull over. She pulled over with both of us, and then she just got out of her car and started cussing me out and berating me.
You'd be surprised, like, uh, the highways aren't straight, like, none of the roads are straight unless you live in a really big city where they have a grid system. Like, I live in the foothills of the mountains, so, like, the roads are all curvy all over the place because they're trying to curve around where the mountains are. Just die, Mr. Horsey! Oh, I didn't realize that Fusoya is dead again. That really sucks, I need him to level up. He's not gonna get any experience. Yeah, there he goes. Regime if you have to fill in forms, even if you don't call the police, your insurance knows. When you go to the garage to fix your car, and we'll call the cops on them to pay for the damage. That's very nice. <laughs> oh, I guess I needed more of his magic. Because here it's like, you know, if you make a claim or whatever that the other person hits you, like, you have to take it to court. <laughs> and then, I think it's like traffic court, and then traffic court judges will look at all the evidence, decide who's at fault and who has to pay for it. A mega point? Are you watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case? Oh god. I just like that they're like, and you said, end quote, I'm going to have a mega pint of wine. And Johnny's just like, a, a mega pint? <laughs> well, here you can't get a car without insurance. It's all controlled by the government and insurance can't legally do stuff American insurances do. Like, you have to have insurance here too, but at the same time people also just stop paying for their insurance and then just, you know, drive their car without it. I mean, you'll get arrested if they find out, but that's if they find out. Oh wow, we killed all of them. Nice. <laughs> Objection hearsay. Like, I know the whole reason that they're objecting is because when they go back through the cross-examination, they can say, hey, I objected to that, I'd like to look into it further. But it's still just like every little single word that he's saying. Uh, objection hearsay? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Fun fact, I wanted to be a lawyer, so I'm like really into American law and whatnot. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap, these guys. Objected to his own question. Yeah, use the pig magic. I don't think the pig magic would work in this scenario. <laughs> yeah, like law is hard. <laughs> if you practice law, good on you. Like I probably would have practiced law because I'm good at getting like points across, I guess. But at the end of the day, like the anxiety of being in front of people, mm -mm. not about that life. I've always wanted to shout, you can't handle the truth to a lawyer in court, right? Hey, we took one of them out. Nice. 
If anybody wants to play a fun court game, though, Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright's one of my favorite game series. It's whimsical and silly. <laughs> Or like what I'm doing now. <laughs> hey, we've got somebody in the 3k range again. We've got four and three. You're about to hit three. You're about to hit three. You're nowhere near three. Favorite court game is badminton. Have you tried pickleball? It's all the rage over here. <laughs> and when I mean all the rage, I mean like my my 60 year old parents are like all about pickleball, constantly about pickleball. Have you played pickleball yet? Can we play pickleball? Pickleball, pickleball. And I'm just like, I don't want pickleball. Never heard of it, you're blessed. It's kind of like, it's ping pong. What is it? It's like tennis. My mom said it's a mix of tennis and ping pong and I'm like, ping pong is just table tennis. There's no mix of it. And she's like, well, that's the best way I can put it. So basically you're playing tennis with a wiffle ball on a smaller court with paddles. And that's all that I've gotten out of it. <laughs> Badminton is fun, haven't played since I was 10. Right? Like, when me and one of my old friends, she had a badminton court in her backyard and we'd play badminton all the time. I need to call her up and be like, you wanna come over and play badminton? I was thinking that today is Wednesday, but no, tomorrow is Wednesday. And tomorrow is also the first Wednesday of the month, so I will be doing therapy tomorrow and I will not be streaming. Like, yeah, you say badminton. <laughs> yeah. In America, we don't pronounce, like, T's. Like, if it's a T at the beginning of the word, we'll pronounce it. But if it's in the middle of the word, we're not going to pronounce that T. Like, not. I don't say not. It's not. Unless you're from my area of PA. Oh, do they pronounce the T's up there? Mobile? 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 We say mobile. <laughs> mobile. <laughs> and kill him. Kill the dragon. There we go. Yeah, depending on where you are, some people say mobile but it, I say mobile. <laughs> the I is implied. <laughs> we don't pronounce T's and sometimes we don't pronounce letters altogether. <laughs> what level is everyone? 55, 68, 66, 62, 67. So let's get the soya up into the 60 range, and then we can try that fight again. Adults and adults. Yeah, I say adult. I am not a dolt. I am an adult. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm getting faster at this. Yeah, pants and trousers. <laughs> like, my grandma calls them trousers, but that's because she's from New England and that's how they pronounce it up there. I think I can kind of pronounce Glasgow correctly, but that's because my great-grandpa's from there. <laughs> hey, that and I've watched a lot of Doctor Who, so I kind of understand how to pronounce them. Is that I-L-A-N? Lonfar? Then again, I don't know a Welsh accent. Oh god! <laughs> About the weirdest town name we have here in uh, South Carolina is Sugar Tit. I kid you not. That is the name of a town here in South Carolina. <laughs> I know, because every time we drive past it going on the beach, I go... <clears throat> It's like someone smashed the keyboard. Yeah, there is. Apparently they've had to like, take measures or something like that to keep people from stealing their signs. <sighs> nope. They had to change it? No, what did they change it to? Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> Also, Catalyst, I think I know the name of the the one town that you're talking about. Is its initials C.F. Burrow? Because <laughs> I've seen signs for that place, too. Well, he's level 56. He's almost level 60. We just keep praying to God that Rama comes out. No idea? all. Oh. Those have to be in places where they just don't know what that means. That or like, the king really liked going over there and taking advantage of people. <laughs> I mean, we're getting better at taking out these dragons, so I guess that's a plus. I just got an email? Oh, thank god. Oh, this is the best email ever. Are you kidding me? Uh, 
Uh, we do. It's about an hour away from me, but yeah, I know where that is. I think it's in North Carolina. No. No, no, no. It's not near North Carolina. Where is that? Jake's been there. Round one. Uh, the closest one is Stonecrest, Georgia. Unless it really has no idea where I am. <laughs> Round one, USA. We've got a similar place around here, locations. Oh yeah, the closest ones are, um, there's two in Atlanta. Atlanta's like a two and a half hour drive for me. I made a couple in the Philly area. That place is sweet. Nice. So what I was just saying, oh, thank God, yes, for is uh, the complex that I live in has a really nice pool. But every time I drive past the, or not drive past, every time I walk past the pool after stream, there's always like the entire high school swim team there splashing, you know, being boys, I guess the best way of putting it. Like being extra violent in the water and whatnot to where like me, myself, and I would not want to go swimming with them. Because, you know, that's just too much for me. I'm going to get hurt trying to swim with all those, like, big beefy boys that swim and whatnot. But they just sent out a mass text to everybody here and said, Hey, we're going to have cops patrolling the pools now because there have been numerous complaints of people not following the pool rules. And I'm like, oh, thank God. All I want to do is swim after stream and I can't when there's 14 grown adults swimming in the pool. And then, you know, there being hooligans on top of that. Like, my parents and Jake's parents both want to come over and swim in our pool, but we've had to tell them, you know, like, we gotta wait till a day when these idiots aren't out here because somebody's gonna get hurt and you guys are on the older side of things and we don't want you guys getting hurt in the pool. No problem, Catalyst. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you being around and chatting and whatnot today. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. What level? He's still 56, dang. It is 404, so let me go get a snack real quick and I will be right back, guys.
Alrighty, homies, I'm back. <laughs> I made myself a, a beautiful dragon fruit smoothie, so it's nice and pink and fuchsia. It's wonderful. Mm. I should probably get a jacket. I just want to eat cold foods. I get really cold. One second. Got my jacket. Mm. Fun fact, I found this thing outside. <laughs> I found... Oh, I'm really washed out. Hold up. Focus on my head. No, focus on me. Eh, oh well. Could just be the crap TV that I'm looking at. But yeah, more times than not, I keep finding clothes outside and I take them home and wash them because they're all like brand new and they fit. So it's like, hey, guess what? My clothes now. <laughs> There's one time the maintenance man, like the maintenance man found this jacket outside as I was walking past him. And he was like, this has been out here for a few days, and he looked at me and he said, it looks like it's about your size, do you want it? And I was like, okay. Nice. Ready has too powerful. excited for therapy tomorrow. I keep looking down and I have the reminder up on my phone. <clears throat> but I got a lot of good things to tell her. And then I got a got a lot I have a lot of good questions to ask her as well. I wonder if we can just beat the crap out of him this time if that'll work. Wait, does Bless bring your mana back? Nope. Okay, we got him. At least I'm getting better at killing the enemies in here. I'm 
We're slowly but surely getting better. Mmm. Just keep beating up the dragons. I guess because my screen's so bright. I'll lean back so you guys can see me. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Is gold hairpin what they have already? Yeah. to go with that for now. <clears throat> Alright, everybody into the light. Let's heal up. This is how I level in 10 as well, as I just sit next to a save point and circle. <laughs> It's almost 90 today. <laughs> That's what that update was. It was like, hey, did you know it's almost 90 degrees outside? And it's like, no, but I do now. <laughs> it's gonna be so warm. <laughs> I love the spring summertime. <laughs>
At this point, just take out the stupid beams. <laughs> My pillow is squeaking. She's 57 now. I want everybody in the 60s for this stupid fight. <clears throat> Run! I can just dump granola on my desk. <clears throat> I wanted a paper towel to rest my spoon on. I'm to the point of my smoothie where I can just chug it at this point. Dump this? Oh no. Alright, let's beat the crap out of him. Let's see how far we've come. be a lot of condensation in the air because I went to drink my cup and dumped water all over myself from the bottom of it. It's a little hair on top of my mic. There we go. I'm at the point where I don't think I have to save in between every battle now. I just got another email from the office and it said they've installed security cameras at the pool so if there's any complaints they can pull up the footage and see exactly who's doing it and then immediately call the police and have them escorted. <laughs> Good. People have been so like disrespectful to the pool here recently, it's ridiculous. Like we've lived here for over a year and it was not this bad. <clears throat> Heck, yesterday there was an entire, like, birthday party going on at the pool. Which is extremely disrespectful, because it says right in your lease you can only have two people, like, per house, residence, whatnot, at the pool. There was, like, legit 20 people at the pool, and I know none of them live here because I haven't seen any of them. <laughs>
Did someone take a dump in the pool? No, there's just way too many people in the pool. gonna waste his magic now. <laughs> hmm. Oh, come on now. There we go. Ah, crap. It's one of these guys. <clears throat> you ready for tournament night? Yeah, because it's not Monday. <laughs> Monday, I'm not ready for anything. Definitely not ready for the emotional trauma that Better Call Saul is about to cause me next Monday. <laughs> I did, yes. For whatever reason, it gave me anxiety, and I was like, I don't think I'll play in these anymore. <laughs> Another ogre killer. I got three of these things now. <clears throat> the new Fae doesn't touch cards. I have an entire binder of cards next to me. He's 57 now, okay. Uh, setting. Music, sound effects, voices, battles, weight. I'm trying to see if I can, like, move the magic, but I guess not. It's just stuck where it is. Lame. <clears throat> I want to organize my magic! I'm sure there's, like, a mod or something that I can use. How do you miss him?
<clears throat> oh boy, two dragons. Let's see if we can do this now. I also keep forgetting that I can skip those. We got one of the dragons. Woohoo, we did it. And Fusoya, <clears throat> excuse me, Fusoya got another level, which is excellent. What happened all of a sudden? Everybody's dying. from this one. <clears throat> Alrighty. I'm gonna go try the battle again just for funsies to see where I stand with it. a tent. Why is nobody healed up all the way? Mmm. It doesn't fully restore. I gotcha.
Perfect time, everyone's evil laughing and just ah. That many are more powerful than one. I am restoring you to full strength. Now, show us what power you possess. I don't wanna. Only one is stream. You're the one that said I should do it last. There we go. Use haste on the healer. <laughs> We're healed. <laughs> I have no idea, Sonny. <clears throat> you can cheer infinity bits. Oh, God. Interesting, go for it. <clears throat> he only unfollowed me and not you. Like, why?
Hey, cool, surge some more so that I can attack. <laughs> Here we go, now we have to keep hitting her with the Agas. Hmm. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm just seeing what all I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my, how the turns have tabled. Comet sounds fun. <laughs> Why though? Oh, you just wanted to do it? <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> if they come in here, I'll just ban them again. Woo! <clears throat> Get Fasoya some more magic back. Everybody else is good but him. <laughs> I don't know if he shifts elements, but ice right now is good.
<laughs> yeah, we're just beating the crap out of him and hoping for the best. At least it's constantly ice that he's immune- that he's, uh, weak to. I can work with that. Did he change elements? Can he do that? <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll find out, I guess. Dang it. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't mean to hit him like that. <laughs> do I have, like, a Libra or something? I guess we'll try fire and see what happens. Nope. What was that for? <laughs> I'm concerned now. Comet, see if that does anything. <clears throat> I guess Thunder is the next one to try. Thunder works. Oh, it does it to all targets? Hold up. Why have I not been using these? That's like a hard reset.
Let's try wind. Let's see what wind does. Okay. I guess we won't see what wind does. <laughs> Just heal everybody real quick as much as humanly possible. Because I don't care about hitting his weakness, I just want to damage him. <laughs> I mean, it did something, I guess. Wait, can I use ninjutsu? No, 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 that's not what I'm thinking of. Oh, there they are. No, oh, okay. <laughs> that did it. <laughs> Thanks, Edge. Sounds like Jake just got home. Hey, we did it. Nice. Lord Zemus! We've failed. Hi! Mm hmm, we got some perp going on. Yes, some good ambience. Did you see the thing that I sent you? Yes. By the pool? Yeah. Yes. Is it not hilarious? Yeah. You just mentioned something about that too. Yeah, I was just like, why are there so many freaking people here? None of these people live here. And then they're like, we've got numerous complaints. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now they've installed cameras down there. Not again. A sound and thorough defeat. I'm immediately going back and saving. Holy crap, that was a tough fight. Oh, I can breathe now. Tent! Or not tent, cottage, give me that cottage. Real quick, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. <laughs>
came back with the key. <laughs> no chair stream, no. Because my bathroom door is like legit right over here. For whatever reason, if the cats knocked the camera over, like that would suck. Getting ready to go out for the night. We had some great conversations. Leave the tab up for you. Good luck with the rest of your stream. No problem. I appreciate you hanging out for so long. Mm. Hope you have a good night. Have some. Go have some fun with some homies. Thank you, Nightbot. <sighs> Stupid door, yeah. I'm gonna see if I change the color, if it'll make me look less washed out. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, these are definitely the Alexander raids from 14. So we had to climb up all the way through all these stupid things. This node controls the giant's operational systems. It's huge. We must destroy the defense node first or it will repair damage to the core. <laughs> CPU, we're about to destroy a computer. I assume lightning hits it. I didn't see, did that hurt it or heal it? I was not paying attention. Oh, it's got reflect on it. So the defense node heals it. Okay, I see. So we need to take out the defense node first. Summon the chocobo to take out the defense node, yes? <laughs> nope. Oh good, here we go. I think thunder was good, so we'll try thunder real quick and see what that does. Okay! We're just gonna have those two uh, doing stuff. <laughs> I guess let's take out the defense node and then just whack everything with lightning. That sounds like a plan.
Okay, fire heals that one. They both start with C. <laughs> I guess magic in general heals it. gonna leave that attack node there. It doesn't need to be taken out. Oh, fun. Come on, just heal. I wonder how much health this thing even has. God dang. Do I have D spell? Somebody had it. Oh, come on, immediately? <laughs> you think for the little- for the bit little tone. The little bit little tone. <laughs> Still got reflect on him? That's lame. There it is. I was like, where the heck did it go?
<laughs> like Sunny, he's back. We're probably gonna die. Hmm. Mm-hmm. How are we supposed to do this stupid fight? Just go ahead and kill me. I have no idea what's going on. I saved right before this. Final Fantasy IV... What is this called? CPU? Has 30k. kill me. I'm gonna do another Sunny's channel because I thought Sunny was there and the streamer said hi. <laughs> Yay! A uh, player should finish off the attacker immediately as it has low HP but high attack power. A single laser barrage could potentially wipe out weaker party members. Players should defeat the CPU next because destroying both nodes causes the CPU to use object 199. Uh, any summon except Titan can be used to damage the attack node and CPU simultaneously while leaving the defense node untouched. Prevent object 199 from triggering. Okay. So we have to leave the defense one there. I gotcha. Protect the party. <laughs> Let's use Leviathan for fun. <laughs> Okay, so we need to use slow on it. I have some spider webs I can use. Spider silk, there we go. Slow. You are going to heal everybody. Oh. Did they already put the thing back up? 
<sighs> this is annoying. Here it goes. Stupid thing. kill that thing, but it doesn't like... I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Man, it's gonna murder some of us. Oh, it didn't. Does it have reflect? It does. I guess summons don't work. Okay. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I'm just very confused by this whole ordeal. <laughs> Just we keep attacking the CPU little by little. Hmm. So I guess if we just don't use magic magic on it, it'll be fine. Well, what other random stuff do I have to use? idea. I guess we'll just let you keep curing people. <laughs> Say a little prayer. <laughs> See, it said don't summon Titan. So I guess I'll do Rama. Rama seems like a fun time. The dragon is its weakness? Okay.
Hey, we did it. It just took patience. <laughs> and not knowing what the heck is going on. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> There we go. Man, honey buns is just chugging down that water. Oh, I said her name, here she comes. <laughs> and don't look at her! It's done. The giant stopped moving. You! How dare you meddle in this? You- you're- Can you not speak, old man? D do you not even know your true self? My true self? Awaken! No! Why? Why was I so consumed by hate? You've regained your senses then. Do you... Do you remember your father's name? My father... His name was Kluya. Oh. Then you're... Cecil's own brother? Gulpis is mine. You were being manipulated by the all-powerful will of Zemus. Your Lunarian blood rendered you an easy target for his curse and bound your thoughts to his. To think Gloria's sons would be made to fight one another. Vesoya! I fought him. I hated him. My own brother. You are... my brother. But... were it me, the one Zemus chose to control, our roles might just as well have been reversed. No. There was evil in me. Long before all this. What? I'm the one who abandoned you. We got some brotherly troubles here, my goodness. The mom's name is Cecilia. Cecilia, you did wonderfully, my love. He's a healthy little boy. Indeed, a gift from the gods. Theodore. I don't think it was Theodore, it was like Thodore or something. I don't know. Hmm. We'll call him... Oh, no, his name is Theodore. It's a boy's name. It means a gift of the gods. Theodore, that's a fine name. His life will be a blessed one. Cool. Oh, I get to play as him. <laughs> Whee! Can I touch the fire? Oh. What's the matter, Theodore? Where's father? He's still outside, most likely. Come now, back to bed with you. Nope. I'm gonna go outside into the wild. There's no de denying your father granted us convenience. He gave us magic. And- Drega! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, how you doing? Were you doing some more Minecraft mince raft today? But yeah, welcome on in, everybody. My name's Faye. You're in for subpar gameplay content. Hi, Mythical! <laughs> Yo, Dirt Block, how's it going? <laughs> dirt Block Bedrock. That would be a song. Yo, Dakota Queen, thank you for the follow. How you doing today? So, we just learned a, a very twisty plot twist. 
So if you don't want very twisty plot twists for Final Fantasy IV, uh, just turn the stream down a little bit. It'll be all good. <laughs> So let's see, there's no denying your father granted us convenience. He gave us magic and the means by which to sail the skies. But where is dear papa? If this knowledge continues to spread, the kingdom will inevitably employ it to wage war. Dirt block, thank you for the follow. It is unfortunate, but such is the way of men. What about the way of women, hmm? <laughs> where is papa? It's we who use magic properly, who look the fools. Oh. Is that Papa? It is. You're watching them again, aren't you? Oh, Theodore. You really like them, don't you? The moons? Yes, I do. Why? I'll explain it someday when you're old enough to understand. Shadowblade, thank you for the follow. I hope you're well, as well. <laughs> I am old enough. I can even use magic already. You have, have you mastered cure? Well, not yet, but... Then you still have some learning. Then you still have some things to learn, haven't you? Come, it's late. You should be in bed. Gotta go in five minutes. Need some sleep soon. Oh, no problem, Mythical. I appreciate you for hanging out for so long. Alright, we're going back to bed. I'm gonna go do hooligan things. And all was quiet on the western front, yes. Wee! Can I, like, escape? No, they have the city blocked off. Well, that's lame. What if I wanted to run away? Magic is useful, to be sure, but there are many who abuse it. There should be sport in hunting, but some now treat it as mere slaughter. There's no denying your father granted us convenience. He gave us magic, ba 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 ba. So this must be my house. Is this my house? I think so. Ah, yes, this is my house. Oh, oh, whoa, hold up, mom's dead. What? Mother, what's the matter? D don't worry, I'll be fine. But your face is so pale. That's because I've been working very hard. What do you mean? To make sure this little one will be alright. Who? Your little brother or sister? I'm going to have one? Yes. Yay, I'm going to be a big brother! Yes, yeah, so you had best go to sleep now, hadn't you? An elder brother needs to set a good example. Alright, good night! Little brother or a sister? Why does he look like Naruto? Kluya! Father! It was the ones who disgraced, who disagreed with his teachings. They they used magic. Clea did not even raise an arm in his own defense. Theodore. Father, are you all right? I was mistaken. Of course not. You can't choose how people use what you teach them. Thank you, Theodore. Father! I thought Mom was going to die, but now he's dead. Hold yourself together, Cecilia. Cure! Yeah, that's not even something a phoenix down would help. Cure! Theodore. No! It's a boy! I have a brother! I don't remember this bit of the game. Is this the newer content? Nope, this is like the very, very end of the game. He's like describing what his life was like or whatever. Please, let, let me hold him. You mustn't strain yourself, Cecilia. Please. Oh, thank goodness. Mother? She dead now, too? Mother! So I guess if you have, like, the whiskers on your cheeks and you wear a headband, apparently you're an orphan, because uh, he looks like Naruto with purple eyes. She knew the risks of this birth, and she still went through with it. 
<lacht> wow. A vile thing, isn't he, that brother of yours? What? He is the root of all you've suffered. Wh who's there? If it weren't for him, your mother and father would both still be alive. No, you're wrong! And you are a vile little insect, birthed from womb of dragon- Okay, I can't read that. Stop talking to me! I name you Golbez. <laughs> Can I type? Oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> oh no. Was it you, Honey Buns? One of the cats took a nasty poop and I turn around and Honey Buns is just sitting there like, it wasn't me. <laughs> Tons of backstory that wasn't really given in the SNES game. Oh, so they probably made it more clear. Is that... What is an infant doing in a place like this? What is it? He appears to have been abandoned, your majesty. The poor child. What is it, my liege? Cecilia? Your majesty? Forgive me, I am thinking over much, and yet the resemblance is striking. Sorry for reading and not speaking for a moment. Are oh, you a good Drago? I figured you had to get some stuff done. This child's feature, they remind me very much of a person forced from Baron because of my own cowardice. I come to bless this room. Thank you, BB. Cast out the demons! When our father died, I was left behind with our mother, who still bore you with her womb. Within her womb. There we go. I was like, how else would you give birth to a child? Oh, you can see me so well in the background. Mm-hmm. Ah, a little incense blessings. stick. We had the little sister being rude to people playing Minecraft with us in chat, so I had to give her the talk. I mean, good for standing up. This is your cha that is your channel, after all, and if people are not going to respect it, then they need a firm talking to. Let's see, the other villagers cared for us at first, the people our father had blessed with lunar secrets, but our mother had become too frail and died shortly after you were born. I blamed you, telling myself our mother would have lived were it not for you. I took you, still an infant, to the forest at the edge of Baron and left you there. After that, I took to the borderlands, where I could hide from others' eyes. Racked by guilt, ashamed to show my face. I would not think to ask for your forgiveness now, but I am glad that you survived. What better upon could Zemus have possibly oh, chosen no. than this? Like, that sucks when somebody works really hard on something and then someone else just comes and kicks it over. Like a sandcastle. She's a sandcastle kicker. Zemus is a Kylo Ren was formed. Cecil, is this all right? That man, he means to die. He's your brother. My brother. Your blood. Your only living family. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. Cecil. We need to get out of here. But how? This way. Oh snap, it's Cade. Excuse me, Cade. 
We've fallen for enough of your tricks. We can talk later, but if you want to live, you'd best follow me now. Quickly! And Rosa immediately reconsiders her relationship with Cecil as she sees the family she'll be marrying into. Yeah, for real. Forgiveness, but... Forgiveness? It's your fault the giant appeared in the first place! Stop it! Rosa... Bobez broke free as well. That's why you're free. None of this was your fault. <laughs> Just kidding, it was all your fault! <laughs> so you're Cecil. Who are you? I'm Kane, Kane Highwind. Well, there's the Highwind. My father is Sir Richard Highwind, the commander of the Dragoons. Pleased to meet you. Uh, don't think you can be friends with me just because the king treats you like you're special. What did you say? Wanna fight, do you? What, uh, what's a soft, spoiled little boy like you going to do to me? I'm not spoiled. Talk back to me, will you? Stop it! Rosa? Men of Baron fight not without just cause. That's what his majesty taught us, isn't it? But he's the one who... Dragoons don't make excuses. Hm, I know that. I started it. You're an honest one, aren't you? See, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I guess it wasn't. What a twist. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Golbez was Cecil's brother? Well, in any case, it would seem I have a debt to repay Zemus too. Huh. And when he takes over your mind again, what then? If that should happen, kill me without a second thought. <laughs> then count me in, too. I have a couple of blades with this Zemus's name on them. Edge. <laughs> Edge. Let's go. To the moon. But Rosa and Rydia stay behind. This time, there may be no homecoming. Cecil, you can't mean that! Go. Get off the ship. I am a strong, independent woman and will not be told by a man what I can and cannot do. <laughs> Fine. Cecil. Don't argue, Kane. <laughs> Cecil, you legit just kicked our only healer off of the boat. <laughs> Wait for it, Faye? Oh no. Oh, this is it. I'm scared. Ha. -ha. Step aside, Rosa. I'm not going anywhere. Why not? Without me along, who will heal you when you're hurt? Rosa. You can't win this one, Cecil. No use arguing with a woman. Then I'll argue no more. Your help is welcome. Just as we planned. You're here too? This battle is ours as much as anyone. Cecil said so himself. And having some Eidolons along can't hurt, can it? Rydia. Come. 
Our battle awaits. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, okay. In 14, the moon is inhabited by Zodiac. So when we're going to the moon, I was like, I wonder if Zodiac's there, but no, he's from Final Fantasy 12. Yeah, she was like, shush, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm doing all right, Drago. I'm a little sleepy, but I mean, aside from that, I'm pretty good. What did Stream Elements just send me? Absolutely not. It keeps going, hey, do you want to- you can be sponsored right now by Raid Shadow Legends, and I'm like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Your game sucks and is bad. Before I can even type it. Yeah, I got another email just now that's like, Did you want to be sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? No! <laughs> Yeah. It's like, guess what? You wanted to be with us right now. Like, they've got to be a money laundering front. There's no way they have this much dang money for their stupid app that's terrible, you know? Like, they have to be a money laundering front. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's basically an MLM. There we go. Fun fact, it's owned by a casino company. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, some people kind of like it. I mean, it probably would be a good game if it didn't take five minutes after loading the game to actually be able to play it. But like, so many pop-ups and all these stupid things pop up after you try to start the game. It's just like, ah! <laughs> yeah, it's MLM all over the place. I wonder if Kane has gained any levels since we've last seen him, or if he's still like level 50. And then I gotta check his uh, inventory. Let me do that real quick. I mean, he's 62, that's not too bad. I mean, he's got Gungnir, which is pretty good, but I mean, Defender is also better. <laughs> you should have scaled to be relative to you. Yeah, right? Like, at least in 7, they level up a bit. Or like, when one party member leaves, the new one coming in should be the same level as they were. This is just annoying. Like, I've spent all this time leveling these characters, and it's amounted to nothing because they keep leaving the party. <laughs> see if I've got that dual cast augment. I don't think I do, but it'd be nice if I did. Thank you, Nightbot. I do not. Ooh. 
I don't even know what Bless did. <laughs> Nothing? We will guide you to the core. Oh boy. Yep, it's the moon. <laughs> Monsters here give good experience, but there's plenty of behemoths that'll help you catch up anyone who's fallen behind. Oh, nice! But yes, this is the moon. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I learned about that from Sonic. Yeah. Okay, so those things have about 10k health. I was like, how do we get over there? And I turned it down and was like, oh, there's a hole in the wall right there. Well, that is pretty surprising to come up upon. Just add all this extra stuff and it's totally Sonic. Look, we've got a blue character that's the main character. Really, everybody's wearing blue except for the two uh, chicks in the background. Ouchies. Haha. -ha. Ow. How do you miss? All these people are missing. What's that? A wall? But there's a crack in it. <laughs> and it's almost six o'clock. I'm so excited to go on my walk. That rhymed. I didn't even mean it to, but it did. There we go. She needs to play Final Fantasy 2. That game had amazing dungeon design. I mean, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> I kind of wanted to play, um... Oh, uh, what is it? I wanted to play 6 next. I don't know where that's gonna take me, so I want to see down here first. Oh, it's a back attack? No, thank you. I really should find a save place. This is not a save place. What about that little teleporty thing over here? Was that a save? I mean, I guess I could always teleport out and then save. Pick one of the four doors. One is safe, the other four is lead to a encounter room. Oh no. Yeah, I was gonna do six next. That's what I'm thinking. How does Kane keep dying? Like, he's got decent health. <laughs> Fun fact, if you go to the wrong room, each step you take in those rooms is an encounter. Oh no. That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I mean, it sounds great for leveling up, but aside from that, it sounds like absolute torture.
had a good story. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. And then go save. Alrighty, let's see who's live right now. You know who's live that I haven't rated in a very, very long time? Kishu Kiralia. Uh, they are one of my friends, IRL. And I haven't seen them in a few years. But yeah, we've hung out at some conventions together. And she's pretty cool. Pretty cool all around. She plays games with her kids sometimes, which is also very cute and wholesome. But yeah, let's go raid uh, Kishu. Let's see. <laughs> Kishu Huhui. Kishu Kiralia. If I can type backslash raid Kishu Kiralia. There we go. We're gonna go raid Kishu. Let me get her stream up on my phone. Uh, she is playing. Oh, went to a commercial. She's playing something I've never heard of, so we're gonna learn about a new game today. But yeah, um,. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I normally stream on Wednesdays, but tomorrow I have therapy, so I will not be streaming. So I will see you guys again on Thursday. Uh, hopefully to level grind and get some more of this game going. But yeah, till then, uh, be good. Don't do anything stupid. Uh, you know, go and do a self-care day tomorrow while you're not watching me. But yeah, till then, just be good, guys, okay? I'll see y'all on Thursday. Bye, guys.